Two giants of football going head to head today. The atmosphere is electric. So many stars on show and everyone is excited and ready for this one. Don't go anywhere. All the action coming up next. Guardiola, Mourinho, Ronaldo, Messi. But this is a rivalry that goes back way further with many more names having a story to tell. I'm Guy Mowbray, joined by Sue Smith for Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Well, just listen to the atmosphere in here. You've got two sets of passionate fans. Let's hope they're treated to some entertaining football on the pitch. We've got such talented players, like you say, on show. I really can't wait for this one. This is the Real Madrid starting lineup. Andre Lunin is in goal. Eder Militao plays alongside Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Jude Bellingham plays alongside Luka Modric in the middle of the park. And the main man up front is Kylian Mbappe. This is the Barcelona team sheet. Yeah, it looks like a 4 5 1 or a 4 2 3 1. This can be quite an attacking lineup with the three progressive players behind the lone striker but you've still got that defensive protection with the two midfielders holding. And so the first half kicks off. allowing the game to flow he's beaten his marker here well good defending in the end and danger averted for now that wasn't a good tackle and we could see a card shown and the referee has paid an early first visit to his pocket yeah and I think the ref's setting out the stall early to say any challenges like that there's going to be a booking he's certainly going to have to be careful now Switched on and ready to intercept there. Pedri. Kylian Mbappe has pace, he has power, he has every attribute a striker needs. What are we expecting to see from him today, Sue? It's his speed that impresses me and that turn of pace. He slows down and then he goes and defenders just can't get anywhere near him. He's going to be so difficult to mark but you just can't give him that time to run it yet. Lewandowski. Well, what a place to lose the ball just when the chance was on. Vinicius Junior. Kylian Mbappe. Rafinha. On to Lewandowski. Making good progress here. Pedri. Oh, good ball in behind. And it's there. They have a goal. And they have the lead. Well, 
Well, we can take another look now, and what a ball it is to get them in behind. And it makes a striker's job relatively easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a really good goal. Starts with the onus on Barcelona to find a response. Oh, that's been won really smartly. Danny Olmo. And there's the whistle as the ref gives a free kick. That's a lovely ball. There might be something building now. Good work from Barca to win back possession. Beautifully weighted ball. And that one is got away. Could get it over now. More defensive work to do here. It was looking good, but there it's ended. Allowing space, and he's finding it. Lewandowski, chance for the equaliser. Very well kept out, alert and ready. And with that, the first half at the Bernabeu comes to a close. Kylian Mbappe is always hard to play against, and that's been the case again here. What have you made of his performance, Sue? Yeah, he's had a really productive first half. He gave his side the lead with a tidy finish, but it's his all-round play that's been so good too. Hopefully we'll see more of that in the second half. The second half underway, and although Real Madrid lead, that could quite easily change. Pedri. On to Lewandowski. Rafinha. Oh, maybe a bit of space now. And that's nicely won to see off the threat. Rafinha. Plenty of room out wide for Barcelona. Wide open in the middle. What a brilliant chance. What a stop. Razor shot. Oh, talk about the actions. How good were his then? It's such close range. That's a brilliant save. Over it comes. Well, a tame headed effort. Too close to the keeper to pose any real challenge. Ball back with Barcelona now. Turn around in possession. Excellent positioning. Well, if you go to ground like that and don't get the ball, you will rightly get a card. And the referee shows red. Little argument to be had. No, it's a clear decision for me. The manager's going to have to readjust though now. Shore up that defence. It looks like Real Madrid have changed their tactics a bit here. I think they're looking to use the width a bit more now, and you can see that when they have the ball, they're stretching that back line. It is key that they use the spaces that have been left, though. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Lewandowski. Lewandowski!
Alverde. Bellingham. Real moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? And the danger is cleared. Still going here. And that's where he loses it. A timely intervention. Ferran Torres. Now a sense that a late equaliser could be on the cards. Just deep towards the back post. Well, he's kept that out nicely. And a challenge there that will surely result in a card. And it is going to be a caution. Yeah, it's a good decision from the ref. I think he knew that it was coming. forward in search of the equaliser but that's where any chance of anything developing disappears Valverde there we are full time here and it's Real Madrid who will go home happy having taken all the points yeah, there wasn't much in it to be honest it was a real competitive game there were chances at both ends and they probably just about edged it overall though deserved the result in my opinion well, a good performance as we've come to expect from Kylian Mbappe, he'd get good marks for his contribution. Yeah, good performance and a really critical goal to give them the lead. They just couldn't cope with his movement today.